Here we're going to take a quick look at the Stack and Pack plugin for our Substance Painter. So what I have here is an asset, some textures on it, um, but I've worked in five different texture sets and I want to merge them all together into a single one. So here in the plugin I have one of each texture sets, name default just like it would be, um, but I have some quick commands that allow me to group everything together, unassign it, this allows me to drag and drop and organize them however I'd like, put them all back into their own groups, reset it. In this case I want to stack them all together under this single asset called home base. I want to save it into export stack and pack. Set up our naming convention, so we'll do our material set, then underscore map name, and then we'll hop back. So here's a quick preview of what the name would look like, home base underscore base color. And I have my presets, so here are my document settings. I could clear this out or adjust it, make my own preset. So if I type in base color, then it fills it out for me to normal. In this case, we'll load up a preset just to see what we're going to export. So we've got our base color, 8-bit, sRGB, normal, we'll do a PNG 16-bit and then our roughness, metallic, and mesh AO in 16. Set this preset, make sure it's RMA. Let's do infinite. Then I'm ready to go. So we'll export out our maps. So it'll do any baking that it needs to get the correct ID information so that it can stack them properly across the five different sets and then it'll reset those settings back so you don't have to worry about your bakes being different or ID maps changing. If they do change, there's always undo. It makes it really easy to keep everything the same. All of these settings get saved with the scene, so whatever organization, presets, naming you do, when you reopen the scene in the plugin, all your settings will be where they should be. So now it's finished exporting all the maps and now it's stacking merging, packing all the channels, and then when it's done, we did infinite dilation, so it's dilating all the maps. After it's stacked them. So then here we have everything finished, progress is done, we have our base color. You can see that it's all infinitely dilated. We have our RMA, so roughness, metalness, and ambient occlusion. There's very little AO, so we've got a lot of blue here. And then our normal map. You can see it's all dilated the way that it's supposed to be. And that's it. Doing it manually probably would have taken significant amount of time, but I can just save this. We'll just open a different scene here. This is an older version, but it still has the same settings. Go back into the demo. You can see the settings are the way that we left them. We spelled home base differently in this file. It's restored all that information exactly the way that we had it have our preset information right here, ready for work, and re-export as we need.